Hello there. Hello. My name's Nonnie Warren and welcome to Tea Time Tales. Now, I've had my sandwiches and my cake, and as I always do at this time of day, I'm going to tell a story. Would you like to listen to? Wonderful. Let's all make ourselves comfortable and I'll begin. Today is the unwitting tyrannies of Mistress Must and Mistress Should. They thought they were a force for good, did Mistress Must and Mistress Should. They travelled city, vale and hill, telling people what they will. They thought that they were being nice, with unsolicited advice. How to live was always stressed. It left their charges most depressed. One day they passed a tiny farm, hidden far from any harm. Just an orchard, house and sty. The owner's name was Farmer Y. The mistresses could clearly see such wasted opportunity. Cut down those trees that didn't fruit and build a cannery to boot. Mistress Should knocked on the door. It opened wide and quite before Farmer Y could say, Hello, she said, You know what you should do? You should make this farm more big. You should get another pig. You should cut down fruitless trees. You should build a cannery. The farmer laughed and shook his head, amused at all the things she said. And with a smile both wide and dry, he asked a simple question. Why? Mistress must now shuffled up in a most tremendous huff. How dare he question Mistress should? Her advice was always good. You must make this farm much bigger. You must plan for future figures. You must develop and expand. You must get much more from this land. The farmer felt he never would take such counsel from Mistress Should and knew that he could never trust the angry words of Mistress Must. So he replied, Ladies too, don't presume what I shall do. I like the littleness of this farm, tucked away amongst the car. It provides enough for me. My friends picnic beneath these trees. I've pigs enough to fill my sty. And so again, I ask you why? <laughs> to say I should in terms so strong infers I'm doing something wrong and must demands that I comply with your ideas, else I might die. He said farewell and shut his door. The two had never thought before how words could be misunderstood. They just wanted to do good. As they walked along they thought, have all our efforts been for naught? And then a voice behind them yelped, ladies, ladies, I want help. Farmer Want had called them over, ankle deep amongst the clover. To improve my farm I want to do, but where to start I have not a clue. So they looked around the simple stead, wise words still ringing in their heads. So now, rather than demand, they suggested their alternate plans. Perhaps you could start growing figs, and maybe get another pig. You might cut down those fruitless trees. You could build a cannery. Want considered what they said, all the while scratching his head. That all sounds fine, but I'll start slow. The cannery's the way to go. That summer, happy farmer why, when he spied the ladies strolling by, called, good day, mistresses must and should. Their reply, we are now, might and could. That was a nice tale, wasn't it? I do hope you can join me for another one sometime soon. But until then, this is me, Nonnie Warren, signing off. Tatty bye!